Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 94 of Terraria 1.3. Last episode, we had our first solar eclipse in this world, and we were admittedly a little undergeared. No deaths occurred, but we took care of it. I uh, did a lot of hiding like normal, and we got through it. I did get the Eyesore pet, the eye spring right here, so that, that was a nice, nice thing to get. It's fairly rare, unless they've tweaked it. I remember 1.2 it was pretty rare, but we got that. I also mentioned like my plans to just basically the whole underground here is going to end up being layered with banners. It'll get it out of the house. Not that this house will ever be here anymore, but it'll get it out of the house. And the banners will be out of the way. They'll be effective. It just makes sense to me. And it's going to be, it's going to take a little bit before I get them all plopped down. But it's, it's like a, it's like a project to come. Right now we're still working on storage. We're, uh, we're almost done. I didn't get to do a lot of storage last time just due to the whole uh, event thing. But let's get back on that. Also, I got nine dirt. Let's go ahead and just keep adding dirt to the landfill here. So I'm going to fill this back up. That, of course, was my, my very first farm. No bird. No. No. That was my very first farm. Down you go, bunnies. So let's see. I'm pretty sure I've just got, like, potions left. So I'm going to start making room for potions in the other house. And we can get rid of this chest. It's a good day. Got rid of a chest. We are making progress. Let's can all of these. Now, this is admittedly kind of a material and a potion. It could go in either or. Uh, either of the chest. Doesn't really matter. Clay pots, I have no need for. Boss trophies, I'm not sure if I'm going to dedicate a chest to or not. That I don't know. There's a few potions in here. Life Force potion, those are good. Restoration potions are good. Oh, now my inventory is full, so. <laughs> let's head back. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull those potions out. I can carry them. Loot what I can. Alright, so let's go start throwing these potions in a, in a chest. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to handle the potions in a chest. I think the potion stack is still 30. I think. Like, that's 30, that's stacked at 30. Nurse is back, the nurse died. Um, I might leave a couple placeholders in each of these. So I think what I'm going to do for now, until I change or reorganize, things on the left are going to be more ingredients, things on the right are going to be potions. So, before I even start organizing the potions, let me just place them all in here. And then what I'll end up doing, very likely, is say I have multiples of a potion. So, a super common one that I know I'm going to have multiples of, that I know I'm going to want to make a lot of. Maybe just, like, do that with an Iron Skin potion. And then maybe, again, regen potions. Super useful. Just, like, placeholders, because they only go up to 30. And we're going to be at the point where we're going to have so many materials and resources... And I'm almost always going to be potion like potted up using potions. So why not? Recall potions, don't really think I'm gonna hold on to a lot of those, but you know. Uh, the bunny fish trophies, the the block chest, I guess, would be a good spot for it. I could make like a boss hall and hang banner or hang trophies. That would that'd be pretty cool. That'd make sense. For now, let me just store it in here. And we'll go back to our house and we will continue what we're doing. And we are making a lot of oh my goodness, I have six 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 players. Six 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 players. <sighs> that's saying something. <laughs> I'm going to continue with the storage here because we're almost done. Now, vanity and armor. We had that, that whole section here hasn't been used. So I think I want to put vanity and armor items in there. Granted, I'm going to be placing armor on, on mannequins. So this will probably be like junk armor or extra armor. Not 100% yet. So we've emptied another chest. There should be some armor in here. Yes, sir. That's vanity. I'll take them glow sticks. Ah, uh, no, Adam and Forge, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's raining, so I could go farm ice golems if I wanted to. Don't see a reason in doing that. Uh, what I plan on doing, if it does become another knight, I would like to maybe kill a destroyer again. And if I'm to do that, I would have to see if I have some more vertebrae. I should. So I'd like to maybe make another mechanical worm, maybe two of them, and kill two destroyers tonight. That way I can get myself just hollowed armor, just upgrade a little bit. Let me go through here, quick stack anything that I already can. And, well, this can be another chest for chests. <laughs> Chestception. So I would assume I would put vanity items at the top, because they're less useful. And we'll put like actual armor here. I don't really have that much real armor on me at the moment. But let me just start some kind of organization. And then vanity can go up here. It's the stupid bee stuff. Looks like I'm missing the, the hat. The bees. 
Uh, the Night Vision that doesn't have any other pieces to it, I don't think. Ginger Beard can go in there. Eskimo Hood, uh, you can go over here. Rainbow th or uh, Umbrella Slime, I almost said Rainbow, or I, I did say Rainbow. Rainbow Slime, no, it's not a Rainbow Slime. 600 Blue Slimes, I would like to get a Rainbow Slime. Uh, I could make the, or I can get more of those bricks and keep spamming those cool torches. Those things are fun. Quick stack any potions that I can, and let's go ahead and put the rest in here. Voila. Greater healing potions, yes, they deserve a place. Not really sure if I'm going to keep lessers, to be honest with you. Seems pretty useless, but whatever. Now, these admittedly are pretty pointless at this stage. So, how much do they sell for? Yeah, I'll, I'll cash in on that. Works for me. Uh, the bottled honey, let me, let me quick stack. I'll get off my hot bar. Quick stack. And let's go ahead and put the musket balls, of course, since we have like a ranged weaponry chest. I think what I'm going to do is, this was a ranged chest, I think I might end up putting all ammunition in here. Because I want one day to have an insane amount of holy arrows, because they are so useful. Oh, so very useful. So like, hellfire arrows you can go down here, uh, gestures arrows, just something like that. Bones, muskets, musket balls can like go on the left, you know, something like that. Some kind of organization. Let me head home. Uh, I'm gonna just can those torches. Ah, I didn't put the bones away. Damn it, I thought I did. Sure, I'll hang a blue slime banner here. I mean, slimes, we kill slimes all the time. That rhymed. <laughs> More musket balls and doors, of course, they can go in the building chest. That's another chest gone. Whole bottom row has no more chests on it. Good stuff. Uh, sure, I will slap down those banners over there. I don't really want, like, duplicates. It doesn't make much sense. So, let me try to get banners that aren't duplicates picked off the wall here. Those are all not duplicates. Shadow. Let's see. I mean, these are all buffs. <laughs> it's quite a bit of buffs. So I can come down here and I can just dig over. And we'll start hanging these down. I love this. I love this concept. I love the ability to have all of these buffs. And I like how they're all kind of neatly tucked away. It's just huge. Uh, goldfish banner. I should have got one so I could so I can one hit that goldfish. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. We'll one hit the goldfish if we need to. I just keep putting these over here and a zombie banner. I don't think I had a zombie banner down here already. So look at my buffs. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome. So, let's see. Uh, that Heart Lantern, I mean, we're, we're going to get rid of this house here soon anyway. I can, I can hang that Heart Lantern there. Plus, that emits some light. It's pretty cool. Now, chest up on the second floor. What have you. More armor, which you're going to go in the armor chest eventually anyway. I will sell the duplicates of these. Uh, the Voodoo Dolls. Where do I want them? That's a good question. Don't know, but we can move that chest away. Uh, let me sell the duplicate vanity items. I don't know how much they even sell for. Not a lot. Okay, well, that's some cash. Did I not hang the possessed armor banner? No, I didn't. Let's hang that banner. And I could put, like, a campfire down there, too. I am sorry, whatever I just killed. I wasn't even looking. Yes, a piranha banner doesn't really work up here, but I will slap it down nonetheless. There's a goldfish banner. Okay, I've got a couple inventory slots to carry some more garbage. Uh, dyes, I'm definitely gonna get their own, they're gonna get their own unique thing. Uh, here's the bee hat, so we already had a bee hat. We're good. There's my vertebrae. Um, when we come back to this house, I will pick up the vertebrae, and we're going to take, we're gonna take care of those. We're gonna store them, or not, we're not gonna store them. We're gonna make our, our two mechanical worms, so we can kill the destroyer tonight. Twice, hopefully. Maybe three times, depending. I actually know with the arrows that I have, maybe not, because I had to use, oh wait, no, 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 no. I have more arrows than I thought I did. We're good. Yeah, we can make a couple of those. We'll have a couple kills. We got this. We got this. Now, vanity. I knew I had a piece of that. Uh, armor. This is a set, so we can put this in here. If I can find all of it. Bee Greaves. And then the bee headgear. Wet Beard the Pirate. Can you give me another Nimbus Rod? Nimbus Rod? Nope. I need to do some re-rolling. I have a hurtful Mega Shark. I need to fix that. That needs to be an unreal mega shark. Can't even believe it. Uh, vanity. So raincoat, another peddler's hat, just something. Put that in here. Armor, of course. I mean, there's going to be places like a lot of this is going on in the mannequin. But for now, let's store it. Uh, queen bee trophy. I've got room for trophies in here. Blocks. Well, I don't have any coral stone blocks. Put them in there. 
chest, more chests to the chest, chest, more chests for the chest, chest, chest for reconception, and voodoo dolls. What do they fall under? They're pretty miscellaneous. They're fairly miscellaneous. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, sure for now, I guess I could put I could put clothier voodoo dolls in there if I really wanted to. Part of the angler's back. Angler, you got a quest for me or anything like that? I haven't gotten a quest from you in a while. Underground in caves. Uh, let's see. Eh, no. I'm trying to find out where we've been doing it. Okay, so right there. Let's go do that quest real quick. I haven't done a fishing quest in a while. And hopefully we can do this really quick so I can turn in my my fishing quest and then make my mechanical worm. Let's just saw down here. Let's do this fish quest real quick. So I think, I think, could be wrong. I think in hard mode, once you get to hard mode, I think he might have more loot. Could be wrong about that. I'm not 100% sure. But it's always worthwhile doing your fishing quest. There's, there's always something to gain. So let's fall down here. No medusas, please. So far, no medusas. So far, so good. How much cash do we have? Let me check my piggy bank once we get to our little farm. Oh, no, that's right. This, this all became corrupted. Is this going to work? I don't think this is going to work anymore. As my fishing spot. Darn. Huh. I don't think it's going to work. I'd have to go over, like, here. That's all corrupted. Damn. All right, maybe I'm not going to worry about the fishing quest. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, vertebrae. Now, I thought there was some in a chest up here. If not... We're gonna go home and up. Oh, no, here it is. We're gonna go home and get it, but no, we're good. Souls of Night are up in that chest at home, and also the iron bars that we need. So let's go ahead and make this. We've got three in-game hours until it's time to start killing bosses, which that won't take me very long at all. Let's go ahead and make our stuff. So since we're organized and we know where to look, bam, we've got souls. However, not enough souls of night, so I can go farm and bars. I should have enough. Lead, yes, I'll have to smelt it, looks like. I don't have any iron. Also, block chest, what are you doing? Block chest, what are you doing? Blocks, get out of there. So, I'll fix that. There's some organization. There's some fine tuning of the organization being done. And the lead ore. Let me just take the lead ore out. We shall smelt this. And we'll have plenty of lead bars. Should be plenty of lead bars. Alright, let's go get our souls of night. That'll be super easy. Don't remember exactly where I'm killing them down here. If I had a farm set up yet or not, I don't believe I did. Umbrella slimes, nobody likes you. But I mean, I can get a banner from you, so why not kill you? Same as same thing with you, Nimbus. I could get a banner from you. Oh, I'll keep killing you. Like if you want to just keep throwing yourself at me to die, we got this. Souls of Night. Uh, I don't really have a particular spot I'm farming for him. Do I? No, I mean we have a a place for Hollow. For Souls of Light, this is Medusa-esque, so I probably would want to go past it. Just depends on how corrupt the stuff is. Eh, we're in the caverns. Let's this this is open up too. Let me let me see if we can. Oh no, Medusa's still spawning. Definitely not. I don't really want to. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with Medusa. You stupid bitch! Just just get eaten by my spiders. At least she gave me a soul. Yeah, let's fall down past this. The last thing we need to do is while well, farming and deal with the Medusa. Just gonna go ahead and get away from that skeleton merchant. He, of course, they take away from your spawns. I, that's something I really wasn't aware of. Skeleton merchants take away from your spawn cap, basically. Uh, once one is active and like just available, the, the amount of monsters you have spawn is just super limited. So we don't want to go any farther. This hasn't corrupted yet, so I will come up to about here. And there's going to be no Medusas. I don't want to be up in there. That's like the icy place. If I could kill these anglers and get the, the angler fish, if I could kill them and get what I need, like the bandage, that'd be huge. So I wouldn't mind farming in some area with water, because we'll still get souls at night here. Is there any water nearby? Like, I could let a bunch of water down here. That'd be cool. I'd be totally okay with this. Or right, Calgum, let's go ahead and get you. And let's wait for some enemies to start start spawning. I'll start slaying and getting some souls. This is surprisingly uncorrupted. There's a tarp here. Gotta pick up that tarp. That dart trap. It looks like I might have to go to the Medusa place to farm. I don't know, there's just nothing spawning. Ah, uh, that is weird. Oh, there's some anglers. Anglerfish, what do you got? Bandage? Damn. Give me a soul, though. 
Hey you, what are you doing? You can give me a solo night. Well, now you can't. You're not in a corrupted area. So, as much as I don't want to do it, let's go up here to the Medusa area. Just because it looks like it's my current best place to get souls of night. And that is weird. That sucks. I mean, we could do it here. We could go left. Maybe we could do that. This is an, this is an icy biome over here. This should prove useful. This should prove uh, fruitful. I mean, this is rather open. And yeah, we're already getting the clingers. We got this. I am okay with your cursed flames if you want to go ahead and give me some. Just gotta be careful he doesn't come to the ground and bite me in the ass. That's the annoying thing about the clingers. And then the man eaters. Just their mechanic. And just keep hitting them in the face and we're golden. <laughs> some souls of night. Kill them corruptors. Kill them corruptors. And why don't we get some torches down too, just to keep this place further lit up. Armored Viking, could still drop a soul. The annoying part is, of course, this being where it is, it's in the, the ice. Just make sure there is no bandage, because of course the angler fish can drop bandages. So I will be going after them. Because I have a Bezor, but I do not have a bandage. The next thing I want to make is the Ankh Shield. The Ankh Charm to the Ankh Shield. So we got a lot of work ahead of us in terms of farming on that one. So I'm going to kill some shit here. Kill them clingers. Watch out for him shooting at me. And keep them souls coming. I'm not really getting that many souls at the moment. I a lot of clinger kills in though. I a lot of cursed flames. There's another soul. Strange plant? Yes sir. Give me that phase die please. Phase die is something I really want. I could bring a water candle down here but it's a little bit late. I just need to get some souls. It's pretty late into the night and it's six souls to each kill so we've got we got two potential kills here, and I think I have some souls at home enough to cover a third kill. So we should actually be good. Let's go home. I've got the souls, I've got the vertebrae, I've got the anvil here. And I have souls up in my actual house. So let's go into the house, let's get those souls, and I should be able to start killing the destroyer now. I should have enough time to kill him three times, too. So let's go ahead and, of course, just use our buff things that are available to us. Uh, no, really, I guess I didn't. I thought I had... I Looks like I pulled out the souls that I had. Okay, whatever. We can get two kills in really quick. That should be enough to make our armor set. I will not worry about that. I will not sweat it. Um, I don't really want to kill all my NPCs. I mean, as funny as it is at the moment, let me try to kill them here. Fatalist bow might have some, some difficulties if I get up too high. But we should be good. Shoot that segment. Shoot that segment. That's where all of his little pieces are. It's wonky. <laughs> I'm the, look at that health bar. See how that health bar was really weirdly placed for the destroyer for just a second there? That was strange. So I'll go ahead and take them hearts. Gotta remember, I am only using adamant armor, not even not even hollowed armor, so I can't take too much damage. I've gotta be careful. There's a bunch of hearts on the ground, but just try to dodge. I will take those hearts. Dodge that actual attack. His his face hits you harder than the rest of them down at 33k. 33k. Got this. Got this. Give me my hollowed bars, sir. And also my fat stack of cash. Fat cash stack. Should be going down any second. There he goes. Good to go. No, corruptors, you get out of here. Yeah, I'll take your I'll take your banner, but otherwise you get out of here. So there's another kill. I will hold off on opening the bag until we do one more. Angry Nimbus, you go away. I didn't even use my Nimbus rod like a turd. I totally just just forgot it. What a derp. So, alright, this trash can go away. And let me use the Nimbus rod. And make sure I use the mechanical worm. Of course, I'm not even using any buffs. And I would like to bring him over this way. Okay. If you go if you want to like go inside the Nimbus rod, there you go. It'll take a lot of damage if you do that, buddy. Heal up now so we can start the cooldown. Try to dodge some lasers. I'm trying also not to go up very high because my arrows are probably hitting my house. And that's wonky. Those guys need to die and drop some hearts for me. Gotta be careful. I am actually taking a surprising amount of damage. In fact, like, why don't I move? Just to be careful. 49 H or 49k HP. There's a bunch of hearts on the ground if we need it. Which, right now, yeah, I want to pick them up. A couple of them. 
He's already just about dead. We got this. 25k health. 350 demonized. I don't recall killing any demonized just now, but I am using the Daedalus bow, so that explains it. There's our extra kill. We are golden. Get our treasure bag. Get our get our hearts back. I'm not sure what's over here, but I'll pick it up. So I have a few hours in game to go for another kill. We could go down there and get a couple hearts. We got this. Kill the Nimbus. I wouldn't mind a banner. Let's go down here real quick. Maybe we can get some souls in time to get a kill. I would like that very much. Get rid of the mushrooms. I know I have placeholders and stuff for them at home. But right now, I just want to go down here and get five souls real fast. And we should be good. Get out of here, Toxic Sludge. Apparently, I've only killed one of you. That is odd to me. That is really odd to me. I've only killed one. Medusa, stop. You stupid. She froze me. <laughs> I'm falling. Good thing I don't take fall damage. There is a soul up there, so I kind of would like to go get it. Why don't we just do that? Come on, ropes. Get to your max speed. That's soul. There we go. I need, what, two or three more? Four more. I was wrong. You should drop a... Nope. He has the potential to drop a soul. We're still underground, but we're in the ice biome. I don't want to be in here because getting frozen every, every few seconds is annoying as shit. Okay, so we went a little bit past it. I'm trying to find on the mini-map where I dug over. Ah, it was back here. Okay. Any angler fish in here? No. There's one here, though. Ah, no, it's a corrupt goldfish. Damn. Corrupt goldfish, don't drop it. We need anglers. Angler fish. I want my bandage. I want my unk shield. My unk charm, and then my unk shield. Such a good accessory. So this is definitely, yeah, this is where I went over. All right, Clinger. I need your soul. That's not your soul, but it's a flame, so I'll take it. And we were over here earlier, killing things. Just gotta wait a little bit for things to start spawning in. A couple hearts down there, should I need them? Go ahead and light this place up. There's a corruptor. Hey, corruptor. Hey, buddy. Hey, bat, what you got? Soul? Yeah. Yeah, it's soul. Guess I'll kill you. I will come over here just to kill you, corruptor. You were totally worth my time. Go get them, spiders. <laughs> I love the spiders. They're so good. Crawdad, you can still drop a soul. Anything down here can drop a soul if I kill it. I will discriminate. I will discriminate. Discriminate against nothing down here. You all drop the same items. I'm not hunting a particular enemy. Nope. You are all equal in the eyes of the soul drop. Even even jellyfish can drop souls. Anglerfish, however, you can drop other things. So I will kind of prioritize you. <laughs> you are a little bit unique. I'm not sure what, oh, that's a bat. I'm not sure what's dying, but it's like bouncing all over the place and it's pretty funny. There's the sixth soul we needed. And we have, oh, we don't have enough time. It's like 4.30 a.m. Yeah, we don't have enough time for that kill. Damn, we were close. And plus, I do not have enough vertebrae. No, I do not. But, I don't have enough rotten chunks. Probably at home. Let me do a quick run up to the house. I bet I have enough rotten chunks to make one. I should. And of course, they ought to be at the potion area. See? Now we know where to go for our loot every time. And of course, I'm not going to have to teleport to my home every time either, because I'm not going to have two houses to juggle. So in here, there should be rotten jugs galore. Yes, sir, indeed. So there it is. I can go ahead and make that now. So let's teleport to our, our, our future past house. <laughs> Pirates are approaching. Well, god damn it. So we're not ready. Uh, I am going to actually wrap the episode up here, though. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to deal with a pirate army just yet. So let's wrap it up here, guys. This was episode 94. Two destroyer kills. Lots of storage. I've gotten rid of quite a few chests. I will go ahead and quick stack. Look at that. Look at that. Quick stacking things, and they have a place for them. I enjoy this. Let me open up these bags, too, for you. Go ahead and quick stack some potion ingredients. Oh, man. Oh man, it's working. It's working. I have places for stuff. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to be able to just put my stuff away. No problems, just easy peasy. And then I know where it all is. So it feels good having this kind of pan out. Let's open up our loot bags. There are our souls and hollowed bars. There's our other mechanical wagon piece, which I think I have the other one in here. Yes, I do. So we can sell that. Now these hollowed bars with those hollowed bars, 
I could make hollowed armor, which I think I will do in the next episode. I'll make some hollowed gear. That'll be pretty sweet. That'll be a nice upgrade. The vertebrae. We do not, we do not have crimson in this world. So I'm not going to get much in the way of vertebrae, but I'll put it in here. So guys, it's time to wrap the episode up. Episode 94. Progress has been made. Things have been killed. I am enjoying it. We're doing very well. Storage. Destroyer's been slain. Next episode's going to be another invasion, another event. We had a solar eclipse previously, but we'll go ahead and deal with the pirates. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.